Well, good afternoon, it's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for the trading session, end of days trading session, Monday the uh, <clears throat> 10th of April 2017. Please be sure to visit CFDs.com for your trading needs, and certainly download the latest app at TradeSignal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download it from the uh, <clears throat> Apple Pay, uh, or the Apple App Store and the Google Play Store. In terms of the European markets, we have the FTSE finishing higher today, or should we say more or less flat, okay. Uh, the German DAX down 24 points, the CAC down 27, so down 0.2 and 0.5% respectively. The FTSE MIB certainly feeling the pressure as well on the IBEX too. So European markets down on the back of, we could say, um, hawkish comments this morning from uh, Mr. ECB's Mersch. Uh, we also have... Uh, uh, geopolitical concerns certainly exacerbated in the afternoon now with the latest reports that the Chinese are amassing 150,000 troops on the North Korean border in order to um, uh, basically uh, uh, hedge themselves against any potential unilateral action because they were shocked with the Syrian uh, strike. So uh, again, that certainly does escalate tensions in the uh, in Asia as well. And not only that, you also have reports with regards to Russia now uh, s potentially suspending flights towards Turkey. So again. Uh, the situation or scenario certainly seems to be getting spiraling out of control. So geopolitical tensions over Syria certainly is a risk negative. Also, given the fact that we've had no real um, details on the Trump health care bill, okay, also with regards to fiscal uh, reform or fiscal stimulus, etc., uh, there certainly remains a lot of unanswered questions, which again is, is risk negative. Now, in terms of the positive side, we did have some uh, news with regards to... Um, a Eurozone investor confidence certainly coming in on the stronger side. Uh, Toshiba and Foxconn certainly helping the the Nasdaq to a large extent and, and uh, potential uh, buyout there of Toshiba. So again, uh, and also Mr. Elon Musk as well with his shares certainly moving higher. Uh, again, uh, the market certainly seems to be uh, in a state of paralysis. We have uh, Miss Yellen on tap as well very shortly. Uh, Miss Yellen is due at 8 p.m. Uh, it'd be interesting to see what she has to say. We did have the US labor market conditions certainly on the weaker side. In terms of European data, nothing really of any importance other than the fact, like I said, Chinese markets lower and obviously the uh, political and geopolitical uncertainty certainly seems to be uh, dominating proceedings. So obviously with it being exacerbated now with regards to this 150,000 troops on the North Korean border. Okay, now in terms of the German DAX, let's, uh, let's observe. So weekly chart, I did a state, a state to you in the video yesterday, provided you hold double top and keep hold of that double top at 12.380, 12.390, bias remains bearish on the German DAX. The daily chart, the German DAX at the moment, we put in a bearish candle today. Uh, again, previous resistance equals support at 12.150, certainly is holding, but not for long. Uh, I certainly feel that the, uh, the actual uh, bearish arguments certainly are starting to mount now, and you are looking for a reversal lower, especially with regards to the euro now potentially making a base now. The important factor here, if I look at the Bund, uh, this is important for you as well, folks, certainly observe the Bund market. Uh, have I lost it again? Please say I've not lost it. Yes, I've lost it again, fantastic. One second. Eurobond futures, there we go. Okay, so I need to save this now. Okay, so to bring up the daily chart, the Eurobond futures, you can see that we are now into resistance. We've taken our diagonal trend line. You're into horizontal resistance with bond market with the bond now uh, into horizontal resistance you are looking for risk aversion okay uh, from my understanding you are going to see uh, the bond prices move lower yields start to rise euro start to rise okay uh, and uh, you are going to see equity prices fall as well the bonds and equities generally bond price and equities generally move in tandem and that's basically what you're going to observe so certainly look for a risk off uh, mode especially with regards to the French election uncertainty now as well. Uh, the latest uh, reports with regards to uh, France. Uh, highest level for Le Pen in second round so far. Macron seen being Le Pen in second round, uh, 58 to 42. And certainly seems to be, uh, uh, the gap certainly seems to be closing uh, ever more. So again, you are looking for risk aversion there and the political uncertainty to increase and therefore looking for risk off, okay? So bonds into resistance, euro, if I bring up the chart, the euro USD, let me just save this now, folks, before I go through the same problem again. Okay, so if I move over to the euro USD, you are looking at euro USD, you can see that clear bounce there off the 1.0570 region. 
any pullback will be a buying opportunity daily chart you can see the euro certainly into support four hour chart bullish engulfing candle any retracement now will be looking for a buying opportunity on the euro going into yellen though it is a bit of a uh, um, risk or a lot of risk to be taking really uh, it'll be interesting if you if yellen has nothing hawkish to say that'll certainly be a buy of the euro usd and also the aussie usd but having said that with regards to north korean troops on the border also the the chinese troops on the border of north korea that's not exactly a trade that i really want to be getting into in terms of a day trade swing trade is fine okay i'm certainly long on the aussie uh, swing trade basis okay so again euro looking for uh, retracement here inside bar then looking to pop higher which again is negative european equity so bear that in mind okay Right, so going back to the German DAX now, uh, German DAX again, 60 minute chart, you can see we've held up 75% lower lows, lower highs. Once we break this key diagonal trend line, down we go, okay, the next potential support being 12,120. And then you have gap fill at 12,000. So my instincts so and my trading gut basically states that we are going towards that gap now, okay, on the German DAX. So look for weakness on the German DAX. 10 minute chart. Again, we did bounce, but we sold off into the close quite sharply. So bear that in mind. You are seeing weakness on the German DAX. So uh, any uh, lower highs certainly seem to be uh, sold at present. FTSE 100, or should we say the CAC? Sorry, CAC, this is a trade that I'm actually short right now. Uh, just to confirm, I'm certainly short the French CAC, looking for a potential thrust lower. Daily chart exhausted, 60-minute double top, looking for a lower high, which we've already got. 10-minute chart, you're looking at h &S formation. HS formation target. Let's just put that in for you. So you've got 5135 minus the neckline, which is seen at 5100, which is a target of uh, uh, 5065. So looking for 5065 on the downside. Okay, 5065. Your pivot low really is 5050 here. So again, look for 5052. So again, that's a trade that I'm looking at. 5050 certainly is the downside target on there. Okay, now in terms of the FTSE 100, again, you have this uh, key resistance level held today. As we already know, the daily chart is uh, forecasting for a HS uh, target of 7085. You have uh, 7097 horizontal support here, you have 7190 support here. So that's two areas that you're looking at in terms of support, folks. So watch out for that 60 minute chart. Holding resistance at 7360, looking for a bear flag, looking to potentially move lower. 10 minute chart, really, is uh, resistance at 7355, 7360, and then looking to potentially move lower. So bear in mind, you have this diagonal trend line as well, and we'll see how the market reacts when we uh, get there. Okay, I think that's a good summation, really, of European indices. Please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs, and, and certainly download the latest app. Goodbye now.